on your final ninety pounds. Cross slime in the car. There's no big. So that's how. <laughs> so that's how last week's vlog was going to transition and. I showed it to my wife because it was kind of an intimate movie. If you haven't watched it, go ahead and watch it. Anyways, I put a clip of some like design feedback of moving from print to digital in that whole sequence. It felt super foreign, so I'm breaking it out and putting it in a second video for this week, and that's what you're seeing today, so hopefully you enjoy it. Thanks. So yesterday was super interesting. We were at the hospital for four or five hours, um, decided not to stay because we didn't think we were in active labor and wanted to do things as natural as possible. So long story short, we went home, got a good night's sleep, and are back at the hospital today. My wife is finally admitted to the hospital, um, but not much is happening, so I went to get some quick food, and I figured I'd take this moment to uh, share some thoughts. So I met a designer named Tim. Met him, he moved out here from Oklahoma, I believe, and was asking me questions about moving to digital from print. Um, and I get that question a lot, so I'm gonna spend a couple minutes here just to explain my story, if there's any designers watching this that are trying to make that transition. So I started out getting my degree, uh, graphic design. I got a bachelor's of art um, at Cal State San Bernardino. And when I graduated, got an agency job, worked on a lot of branding projects, brochures, business cards, and letterhead. Freelance doing the same thing, and then eventually got a job at a software company, internally doing graphic design. So I did a lot of environmental graphics, conference brochures, um, a lot of InDesign work. So I started to realize that, you know, a lot of designers were, um, that I liked and were following were doing a lot of web design and starting to get into mobile design this is like just as the iPhone came out so I started to follow a lot of people on dribble and Twitter that I didn't really know I'm developed a lot of great relationships a lot of great relationships that I have today that have got me where I'm at I really leaned into those platforms and started designing WordPress sites on the side um, and that was kind of my first feet into anything digital for design um, so I was certainly doing web design, but really didn't know what I was doing, wasn't doing any front-end coding. From there, I made a lot of great relationships and had the opportunity to leave this um, print job um, into a startup. And that startup was called AppStack. My buddy Steve Espinosa started it and had never designed a mobile app. He wanted to build a platform for small businesses to make mobile apps. Uh, I was like, look, dude, I've never designed a mobile app. He's like, you're smart, you'll figure it out. Let's just um, do this together. And so I took that risk and uh, had no idea what I was doing. The, day, the night before I jumped into that job, downloaded every PSD, every GUI um, that I could find on Dribbble and just started tearing apart those files uh, to understand kind of how the digital language worked within, you know, um, touch areas for mobile and whatnot. Uh, and I didn't really know what I was doing. I was just um, getting my hands dirty and trying to learn from what others were doing. At that point, I felt pretty comfortable designing for digital experiences. I learned a lot from the engineers I worked with. It really taught me a lot about kind of the process and the, the, the limitations that are in different environments in tech. And from there, I went to Netflix, which was really kind of where I grew as, a lot as a designer. Um, before then, I was just kind of, you know, DIYing it, learning from different articles and different files and from what I learned from friends. Once I went to Netflix, Ted Boda was um, kind of my counterpart working on mobile and iOS and Android for phone and tablet. And uh, he had done a lot of successful work at Apple, so he had been doing a lot of top level work. And so working with him was, was really huge for me. And looking back at it, he was really a mentor and taught me his process, his way of storytelling, solving problems, and you know, really designing for a user. Um, I feel like that's when I really became a UX designer. Um, it's kind of a nebulous term, but that's when I really understood all of the depth of it outside of visual design. Um, and from there, I went to Google, and that has obviously reinforced what I learned at Netflix and has uh, matured me as a designer. So if you're a young designer and getting into that, one, so you kind of have to jump you know, both feet in and, and really get your hands dirty. There's a lot of just hard work and, and kind of figuring things out. There's so many free resources, whether it's the hit guidelines that Apple provides or the material guidelines that Google provides or free PSDs or sketch files now. There's so much you can look at and learn just from um, kind of doing some uh, some hard work. Uh, also, like looking back at it, Ted was definitely a mentor for me and finding people that you want to be like or that are smarter than you and being close to them and, and creating a relationship, I think is huge. And then also working on a team has been huge for me as well. Um, I'm back down in Southern California, but my whole point in moving to the Bay Area was to work at a big tech company with a lot of smart people and get that aggregate knowledge and, and benefit as I grew as a designer. So I worked with a ton of great people at Netflix. There's hundreds of great people at, at Google that I've been able to contact and work with. And so I think putting yourself in an environment where you can really learn from a lot of smart people 
is also huge. So if you're a young designer in print trying to get into digital, I think there's like the fear there. I'd say like scrap that fear, take some risk, get your hands dirty. And really it's more about who you surround yourself with and the environment you're in rather than, you know, taking classes or, you know, trying to read some books or, or, or learn online. I think that's, that's kind of more where I learned was actually by doing with the people around me, not so much reading books and whatnot. That's just how I learned personally. So that's just kind of my story. Hopefully that's useful. Um, now it's time for some food and hopefully we'll have a baby tonight.